In this video, I'm going to show you how to create realistic velvet fabric materials in size number 40 and redshift. Let's go. All right, we're already in size number 40 and I've created my cloth dynamics already. So let's create our material. Go to our material manager, create materials material. And if you're using an older version of Cinema 40, there should be a section here called Redshift where you can select your materials from. So let's drag our material onto our cloth. And as you can see, this is not what we want. It looks like a plastic sheet right now. So let's double click our material to bring up our node editor. And I'm going to turn our reflection all the way down to zero. And also under sheen, turn it all the way up to one. And sheen, the sheen basically controls the fuzziness of the fabric and basically how the microfibers stand up uh, when you view the fabric at an angle. And since we're creating a red velvet material under diffuse, we'll give it a dark red color. And under sheen, we want to give it a lighter and less saturated red, like so. Next, we want to add a fabric texture onto our material here. And a really easy way to do that is to find something on our asset browser. So let's open that, go to materials, and then fabric, and choose something that would be appropriate. And I think this curtain material with this kind of grid texture would really work here. So I'm going to double click it and it's going to be downloaded onto our library here. And if I click it, our node editor will open up. So I'm just going to close our asset browser to make more room. And what we, what we're looking for is this texture right here with the grid. So, uh, so I'm going to copy this and go back to our velvet material and paste. And I'm just going to bring out our node here and press C on the keyboard to bring out the searcher. And I'm going to type in bump map. Connect it into the input and for the output, connect it to our bump map here. And as you can see, we now have this nice fabric texture and it looks a little bit too large right now in terms of the scale. So I'm going to go to our uh, original texture here and play around with this scale. So four, four. and there it, that looks a little bit better and now we want to apply our velvet texture onto our material here so i'm going to press c on our keyboard bring up the texture node and i'm going to apply a texture that i found online i will be linking this asset onto the youtube description so you can download and uh, follow along with the uh, tutorial. So next we want to press C again and bring up our material blender. And the material blender basically works like layers in Photoshop. Uh, so we're going to plug our original RS material to our base material and replace this as our output. And we're going to plug our texture into our layer one blend color, and this will act as a mask to our base material. So you see what I mean in a moment. Let's copy and paste our RS material and plug that into our layer one material. And nothing happens because we haven't changed the color yet. And if we change this color to blue, you see how this texture is working as a mask. So we don't want a blue, obviously, we want a lighter shade of the red, like so. 
and then uh, we'll also adjust the sheen accordingly, make it a lighter for version. And then uh, I think maybe the area light is a little bit too bright right now. So I'm going to lower that a bit to, let's say, 75. And then uh, we want to play around with the contrast, I think. So going back to our original red, let's make that a darker red. And then let's make this a lighter red. And you can already see that crushed velvet look is coming out. And next, I think the um, fabric texture is a little bit too big right now. So let's make that a little bit smaller, something like this looks okay and we can also play around with the scale of our velvet here so let's make that 0 0.7 0 0.7 not 0.5 not 0.5 for me yeah that's that's looking quite good so that's the basics of how you would create a realistic velvet texture in Cinema 4D and Redshift. If you found this tutorial useful, send me a DM on Instagram and let me know what you created.